So, this is not just any Buffalo Trace. This is actually the fine wine good spirits picked from the whiskey festival that they did for 2021. So let's see how it compares to, for me, other picks I've had and for you guys to Buffalo Trace. So it still has like Buffalo Trace sweetness, standard Buffalo Trace sweetness. Not a lot of cherry. No. It's almost more of like, it's, it's, there's still a berry note, but it's not cherry. Yeah, it's like I a deep, say like, deep berry. I would say like blackberry. Mm -hmm. There's another note that I'm trying to get, and I can't put my finger on what it is, because it's not caramel, it's not oak, it's not vanilla. But it's like a rich note. Tea. It's black tea. Yeah. It's a lot mm -hmm. of black mm -hmm. tea. Like yeah. oolong tea and black tea. That's what that's that. exactly what it is. Mm. I like the nose on it, but I let's see what it tastes like because yeah. it doesn't smell sweet like the standard does. More flavorful. It's got green notes to it. Green nose is really light. This is really light. And it tastes like tea. There's a lot of tea. There is a, a lot, lot of tea. tea I mean, you get more of a, like, it's definitely tea on the finish. You get more of a, um, like an herbal kind of green note at the beginning. Yep. Like Transitions into straight up. Black tea. Yeah, black tea leaf. This I wouldn't even say necessarily like the tea is. I like this a lot. I think this more than the regular Buffalo Trace for sure. This is really interesting. I'm like. You should make a half and half shot of this with lemon chilla. Ooh. See if it tastes like a Earl Grey or something. Mm -hmm. I'll see if I have lemon chala at home. By if, that, I, I mean I have to see if my parents have lemon chala at home. <laughs> if not, you can get it cheap at a lot of the local oh, yeah. distilleries. Um, the only the only liquor that I have at my house is three bottles of rum and sixty five bottles of whiskey. That's it. <laughs> Can't relate because I actually have the full liquor cabinet <laughs> and beer fridge plus this. I, so. I have, well, I mean, I have beer, but like, I don't have, oh, and I have a bottle of Buffalo Trace cream. That's it. <laughs> I still have to pick up Jim Bean cream. I still have to try the Jim Bean cream that I bought two months ago. We, we need to do a logo on the Jim Bean cream. I really want that cream, boy. I thought you said why, why does he want it? He makes his own. If she got a pulse and she's not my type. <laughs> you see, and, you're, and you're sitting here in the other video saying that uh, that Jim Beam can't get wet, but clearly we got Jim Beam creamed by the bottle over here. They refrigerated it for produced. centuries. <laughs> if they cryogenically froze, not him, just his nut. cream. <laughs> yes. That's, is that where the nutty notes come from? Probably. I love Jim Beam nutty. Jim Beam nut. The, this pleases the nut. <laughs> I love that meme so much. <laughs> I do too. If I, if I actually remember when editing, right about somewhere on the screen, I'll put a picture of the nut that is being pleased. <laughs> because this does indeed please the nut. This pleases the nut is such a good meme. I feel like that's how I need to say I approve of a whiskey now. You say this pleases the nut. <laughs> Is it new gimmick confirmed 2021? New whiskey new whiskey review gimmick? This pleases the nut? I think we'll allow it. I think we'll allow it. <laughs> I think we'll allow a lot of things. This is actually pretty good. This is yeah, I like this a lot. I enjoy it. Yeah. It's very different from the two picks I've had. The yeah. two picks I had were very much more bourbon. And they're mm. both fine wanting spirits things. Yeah. Like, this they, must have been go they must have been going the interesting route this year. I think what they do with mm, Buffalo Trace picks is that their product is so consistent, I feel like anything that falls out of that range, they just put, throw in a single barrel, whether it's good or bad. Or, in this case, just blatantly different. Mm -hmm. I can't say it's better or worse, it's just it's different. different. Yeah, and I, I, will, I can guarantee you I'll find myself going to this more than I've gone to... Uh, my regular bottle of buffalo. I mean, I, sure. I, I killed my pint in like a night and a half after I finally got into drinking it because it was actually really good. Mm -hmm. Like I said, but aside from Eagle Rare and E.H. Taylor and obviously like the stags and stuff, the only other things that really do it for me with Buffalo Trace so far have been picks. Yeah. But I haven't had a pick that I haven't 
that I haven't enjoyed. Yeah. That's a I've really, I think I've only really enjoyed Mash Bill number one. Aside, I can agree to that. Aside from Blanton Straight from the Barrel, that's different though. Cat, hey, I can't count Cat Straight. Yeah. But I think no. I like the E.H. Taylor Barrel Proof. <laughs> that's Mash Bill number one. Yeah. I know it's a joke. I, oh. I just said I think I liked it because. <laughs> Uh, oh, right, because you were, because you were you absolutely wrecked. I was obliterated and you gave wrecked it Wrecked and a wreck. <laughs> you gave me one of, like, my grail bottles to try as a sample while I was plastered. <laughs> Big sad. <laughs> and obviously I was plastered, so I was like, more alcohol, yes! <laughs> Didn't even consider what I was drinking or that I was trashed. I knew that you were drunk. I didn't think you were that that bad though. I was really drunk that night. <laughs> Damn, that's that's depressing. Damn, I do I do I do kind this? of remember it, but I could not leave any tastiness from it. Yeah. I mean I couldn't either to be honest with you. But I know I liked it. I know it was good. <laughs> but yeah, Buffalo Trace, if I want to get spirits, whiskey fest pick. It's just solid. Yeah. <laughs> 